Musica Sinfonica Dominicana is a concert celebrating Dominican tradition, featuring music and written by Dominican composers. Here to tell us a little bit more are Adan Vasquez, who's the director of Association of Dominican Classical Artists Incorporated, and saxophonist Alexander Vasquez. And good to have you both. Thank you very much Thank for you. having us. Good. So give us a little bit more about this here. Uh, well, uh, we the orchestra that we have formed in, in Manhattan or in New York is an orchestra uh, formed by musicians from Latin America and Af uh, African descent, African-Americans. Mm -hmm. We are minorities. We want to empower the community, and, and not only by performing, by being the performers there, but also by performing music that is rarely played in New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, we focus on music written by uh, Latin American composers or, or Afro-Dominican composers, classical music written by Afro-Dominican composers, for instance. The concert that we're going to be performing tomorrow is written by an Afro-Dominican classical composer named uh, Bienvenido Bustamante, who used to live here in the 60s and work for the New York City Opera House. And uh, most of the, that history is not well known about, you know, the, the, the things that our community have been doing in New York. Um, so the concert tomorrow uh, is, is based on Afro-Dominican rhythms and um, uh, the saxophone uh, as a soloist, and that music taken from the countryside, from, from you know, to a symphon symphony orchestra. Mm -hmm. So all the music performed tomorrow is uh, music written intent, you know, for sym symphony, symphony music. Mm -hmm. It's called nationalism. It's something that was done in Europe in the 1800s where they were taking music from the countryside. It's like Gershwin. Uh, did in the United States with Porgy and Bess, mm -hmm. taking music from the South and bringing it to a symphony orchestra. So what we are doing is basically that we are, we are, we are exposing music written in Latin America uh, in the states of New York City. So talk to me, Alexander, about your participation, being a part of uh, yeah. you know, this, this orchestra and also being able to play these pieces. What's it mean for you? Yeah, I'm really happy to... <laughs> to be in this concert because uh, this is uh, maybe the most important concert for saxophone and orchestra writing in Dominican Republic. And it's a great opportunity to, to play the merengue rhythm in the concert. Uh, this concert has three, three parts, three moments, and we take the last part, uh, we finish with a merengue, a merengue rhythm that people love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And I want to let you know the concert is taking place uh, tomorrow, Thursday, February 21st, as you see. Uh, it's going to take place at 7 p.m. And uh, the opportunity to see classical music, to hear classical music, it's very rare. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. so talk about the rareness that you're able to actually bring, because you're going to be in Harlem, you're going to be over there at City College and uh, doing <laughs> it up. Well, the most important part of this concert is that, that well, we do everything uh, for free. Right. Uh, but we ask uh, for donations. And whatever money that we get at the concert, it goes towards a music school that we have in Washington Heights. We believe that, that the kids in our community deserve a quality of education. So we opened a conservatory in 2011 where we are offering uh, free lessons on, you know, violin, viola, cello, harp, uh, clarinet, percussion, with a focus of forming kids for sym symphonic music. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have 135 kids. Uh, we are located in Audubon and 166. Um, and yeah, we get those funds to uh, uh, create what is called the cash flow because we get some funds from the city. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the main focus of this concert is to empower the community, especially the youth in Washington Heights. Mm -hmm. We want the, the, the young kids to see people that look like them playing a violin, playing a viola, playing a cello, playing a harp. Talk to me real quick before we get out of here. What does music mean for you, having the ability to play? Oh. Is, is the heart expression uh, for me is all my life and <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I, th I believe that, that every people have a, a, a self inside and music can be the, the way that they express uh, well thank you both for coming thank you want to wish you the best tomorrow best wishes thank you. and thank you thank come you. on back so you have to bring the band or something to do something next time, <laughs> <Yeah>. okay? <laughs> you right. should come tomorrow for the concert. I can't be there. So I can't even lie on TV. I can't be there tomorrow. But I'll come, I promise you. You're not, you're not too far away. All right, now, for more information on the concert, 
we ask that you visit ClasicosDominicanos.com and you can get all the information that you need. Taking a quick break. We got more open. Stay with us. Be back in a few.